Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome to yoga at home. So hopefully you're excited to practice with me, lay your mat out wherever you are at home or maybe you're outside and let's get moving today. Start today's practice standing if that's okay. And I want you to roll your shoulders three times backwards. One, two, three. And then turn your palms out, engage your muscles in your stomach and close your eyes. And just start to breathe deeply in and out. As you acknowledge the space that you're in to practice today, some cozy space in your home that you've created where your yoga mat fits just perfectly and where you can lift your legs without knocking something over and then hopefully even fall out of a pose and still be safe. As you stand tall here, I want you to keep your stomach muscles engaged and then start to breathe a little bit deeper, ujjayi breath, letting the breath move in and out of your nose with your lips slightly closed. My first yoga teacher trainer from about 12 or 13 years ago now posted yesterday that she hopes that the energy that we're looking for or the kind of thought processes that we need to feel loved and to feel noticed and to feel like someone cares about us is out there in the world and that she wants us to know that she's offering that to you if you're looking for it. I just thought it was really nice because I know this person and I know that, that that's how their heart is. And I really believed when I read it that she was offering me a sense of energy, a sense of hope, a sense of love without directly saying it. So hopefully you're gaining that from the energy around you. And hopefully if you're looking for that, just know that it's already there. Just hold on to it. Sweep our arms all the way up together and lean back. Good, exhale through heart center, fold forward. So bring your hands all the way down to your yoga mat. Good, let your head hang here for a moment. And then take a half lift, so let your spine get nice and long. And then exhale, fold forward again. Good, if you've turned on your mat and you're not at the top of your mat, or if you are there, you're good. Go ahead and pivot with me so that you are at the top of your yoga mat. And then exhale, reach for opposite elbows. Please tuck your chin, let your head hang heavy. And just feel your torso fall over your legs as you lift your tailbone and you drop your heart over your thighs. Three. Two. And then exhale your hands down to the earth. One. Good. Halfway lift the spine and lengthen. So create a really flat back for me, gazing out in front of you. Exhale to fold forward gently. Let your chin tuck at the base. Step into plank, top of a push-up position, one foot and then the other. And then look forward as you take chaturanga, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog, your choice. Remember, cobra is where those hips are on the mat. So you'll see right now my thighs are down. And then exhale, down dog, however you wanna get there. Maybe you can pass through hands and knees. Maybe you just lift up and over those toes and arrive. And just pause in this nice place where you can lift your booty, press your ribs back and breathe quietly. Good, inhale, plank. Exhale, lay with me on your belly. And then slide your hands back just a little bit more than where they've landed. Hug your elbows in, inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, lower. Repeat twice more, bring your chest up, 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 up. And lower. And then one more time, okay? Bring your chest up, 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 hold it, shoulder blades in. Lower down. And then again, hands and knees or straight to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step to the outside of your right hand. 
left knee lowers, inhale, top of left foot down, pull your chest and your ribs forward. Good, keep the heart moving forward, keep the left hip moving forward, pause here as you stretch out your left hip flexor. And then just let your right hand plant right on top of your thigh and give me a nice little twist to the right. Kind of looking over your shoulder, noticing a little bit of mobility here for three, two, and then exhale your right hand back down where it came from. Step the right foot back to down dogs. So pick up your left knee, one, two, three, step right back. Exhale, take the left leg up on your inhale. Step to the outside of your left hand, pause. Right knee lowers to mat, and then again, just pull the hips forward, pause. So a very gentle lizard pose to kind of start that hip opening today. And you're gonna take your left hand, put it on top of your left thigh and give me a gentle turn to the left. And as you do that, just create a little bit more range of motion if you can for three, two, and then exhale, release your left hand back down. One, two, three, left leg steps up and back, downward facing dog. Good, shift to plank. Vinyasa, lower, chaturanga. Inhale up, and then exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips. Take the right leg up again, reach it high, step the right foot outside the right hand again, but this time keep your left knee lifted. So don't put it down. Keep your right knee moving forward, keep your left hand down, so you're really wide, hand to foot and then peel the right arm straight up into the air. Nice. Right hand behind your head, so your right elbow is up. Take your right elbow down to the ground if you can, and then inhale, bring it back up. Two more, take your elbow down almost to the ground or all the way, bring it back up. And then last round, take it down, tap. Inhale, elbow up, right arm up, reach up, hold it. Good, put your right hand down. Now, heel toe the right foot to the center of the mat. And then all I want you to do is pull back through your hips and straighten the right leg. So just breathe into the back of your right leg, your hamstring. Look back at your left toes if you want for three, two, and now let's all bend our right knee forward, step up, feet together, top of your yoga mat. Take a flat back to lengthen, and then exhale a forward fold. Reach and rise, arms up, lean back. Good, and then exhale the hands down through heart center all the way back to the mat. Again, lift the spine halfway. Step to plank this time and hold it. One foot and then the other for me. And then you're gonna lower your right forearm down to the ground. Shift the weight into the right forearm as you stack your feet. Left arm up and hold. Three, two, high plank as you transition. Left hand, right hand, good. Vinyasa, lower, up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg, inhale, reach. Exhale, step to the outside of your left hand. Keep your knee lifted, right pinky finger wide on your yoga mat. Left arm up, twist. Good, so my right hand is all the way over to the, my right, my left foot is all the way to my left. And now put your left hand behind your head. Elbow to ground, three. Good, roll it open. Two. Roll it open. One more time, move with me, tap. Nice job. And then inhale, reach up, up, up with your elbow. Reach up, up, up with your left arm, hold it, and then put your left hand down. Now, walk your left foot to the center of the mat, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. And then pull it back for me. Straighten your front leg, please. And I would invite you to fold over your front left shin, okay? Nice work. Feel that nice deep stretch here in your hamstring breathing. Three, 
two, bend the left knee, look forward, step the right foot up to meet it, halfway lift your spine, and then exhale to fold forward. Rise up on your inhale, take your arms all the way up, and then clasp your hands behind your back. So I want you to interlace your fingers here, slide your knuckles down your tailbone as you backbend, and then exhale, hinge forward. Look back between your shins. Feel your shoulders start to open. Find your breath. Three, two, nice. Hands to low back, hands to your yoga mat. Take a flat back to lengthen. You're gonna exhale, step back to plank, top of a push-up position. Lower the left forearm, raise the right arm, side plank. Good. Drop your left knee if you need to for three. Lift your hips for two. And then here you go, right hand plank, left hand plank, hold it. Chaturanga, up dog, nice work. And then downward facing dog on your exhale. Press your hips up and back. Good work. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale for me. Breathing in one more time, breathing out. Good. Now take your right leg up to the sky, reach it as high as you can. Inhale, lift, lift, lift. And then on your exhale, step it all the way forward. High lunge, bring your arms up to the sky. And then on your exhale, bring your hands to your heart for me. Shift your chest forward. Lift your back leg, warrior three. Balance. If you're having a lot of trouble, you can use props or the wall. Holding three, pushing back through your left foot, two. Safe landing back where we started, high lunge. Take your arms up. Nice work. Lift and lengthen and lean back. And then pull the hands down to the heart and make your twist to the right. So get your tricep to cross all the way over the thigh if that's available. Good. And now we're gonna end up stepping our left foot forward for chair. Stay in your twist. Watch first if you need to. Step it up and then stay low. Three. Good, stay in it. Two. Inhale, chair, reach up to sky. Fold forward, exhale. Take a flat back, lengthen out the spine. Step the left foot back and then the right. Vinyasa lower. Inhale, back bend, so pull through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press your left foot up, inhale. Exhale, step forward, high lunge, take the arms with you. Good, so really push through your back foot. Pull your hands to your heart. Shift forward, warrior three. So again, same single leg balance, nice work. For three, remember we're landing where we started in lunge and two, carefully step, land, reach up, 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 up. Good, and then exhale, pull your hands to your heart and then please twist to your left. So roll your ribs. Feel the effort in both of your legs to stabilize as you bend your left knee and push through your back heels, three. Keep turning, two. Good, and then inhale, step up with your right foot. Ready, set, go. Twisted chair, stay as low as you can. And then inhale, chair pose, reach up, you got it. Exhale, fold forward. Good, now bone by bone, stand up with me. 
eagle pose. You're gonna take both of your arms out to the sides, okay? I'll just turn towards you so you can see, but feel free to stay where you are. You're gonna take your right arm underneath, option one, hold shoulders, option two, cross your forearms, okay? Take your right leg up. Now you need to bend your left knee, cross it over, and then sink down. Your right toes can hook behind your left calf muscle. Try not to let your elbows just rest on your chest, keep them up. Or actively reach them forward, can they hook over your kneecaps? It's called crouching eagle, three, two, Good job, arms in the air, right knee in the air, freeze. And then twisted half moon. So shift the right foot back, put the right hand down below the right shoulder. So align shoulder and wrist, and then peel left arm up. Really hard pose, three, try to keep this right leg up, two, Nice. Release your left hand, step back on your yoga mat, and now take a turn to the right. Wide-legged forward fold. Exhale as you fold in. Soften your knees as you fold forward. Relax your breath. Good. Bone by bone, stand up for me. Take your time. And then exhale, turn your toes out, 10 and 2. Place your hands on your thighs as you open up those hips for goddess. And then bring your hands to your heart. Three, add pulses. Two, feel your legs. Inhale, arms up, eyes up, pause. Warrior two, turn the left foot forward, land. Reverse your warrior on your inhale, reach up and back. And then cartwheel your hands down to the mat Vinyasa, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Pull Through, and then Downward Facing Dog. Now we need to make our way back to the top of our mat, so bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, halfway lift, and then gently bow forward. Nice. Reach and rise, arms up, lean back, and then hands by the sides. Eagle pose, side two. So wide arms, left arm goes under, crisscross, elbows up. Left knee up, cross it over the right. Right knee is bending, keep your elbows up so they're not resting against your chest, so let those shoulders stretch. Stay or reach and think about hooking your elbows over your front knee. You can hook your left toes behind your right calf muscle or let them hang like mine are to the side. One more breath for me, okay? And then inhale, left knee up, both arms up, stretch up. And then exhale, Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana. So come forward, put your left hand down, and then raise your right arm up to the sky. Super hard twist here. Your legs fatigue a good bit, so try to push down to open them up for three. Reach, two. Right hand to the mat, step the left foot back. Pivot left, wide-legged forward fold. Exhale, good. Bone by bone, rise up. Turn your toes out, 10 and two, find goddess again. Sink down. Hands to heart, pulse with me guys. Three, two, inhale, arms up, eyes up, look up. Turn the right foot forward, warrior two. Look out over your right arm. Inhale, reverse. 
And then exhale, cartwheel through the vinyasa, step back. Nice job, lower. Inhale, up. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Raise your right leg up. Step to the outside of your right hand like we did in the very beginning and put your left knee down. Now choose to stay here or take your right arm up and instead of putting it on top of your right thigh, maybe keep going with it and grab your back left foot. Maybe let your right knee fall open to the right as you do this. Soften your left elbow so it doesn't lock out for three. Two. Inhale your right arm up and around. Exhale, we step right back to down dog. One, two, three, up and back. Left leg, inhale, reaches. Step to the outside of your left hand, lower the right knee. Option one, left hand to left thigh. Look over the left shoulder. Option two, start to bend the back knee. Take the left arm in a big circle to find your foot. And then gently pull the leg towards you. Three. Opening up your right quad for two. Keep turning the body if you can. Release as you come up and around. Exhale, one, two, three, again, down dog. Pick it up, step it back. And then smooth, move it forward, plank, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Look at your hands, bend your knees, step or jump up. Lift up, exhale, fold forward. And then I want you to have a seat on your butt, sit. Good, bring your feet together and your knees apart and rock on your bottom side to side. So find some movement, sit up nice and tall and then start to walk your hands all the way out. So you're in this deep forward bend. Good, lengthening, stretching, opening, three, two, and then slowly rise up on one, moving into boat. So pull your knees to your tummy, and then you're gonna bring them up off the mat as you reach forward, hugging your inner thighs in towards the midline so that they're not bowing apart. Keep reaching forward, keep lifting your chest, point and flex your toes, roll your ankles around if you need to. Three, Two, can you lower halfway to the ground? Hold it. Can you move your toes up and down like you're swimming? Eight, seven, come on, this is it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Four, three, two, exhale, lay flat on the floor. Bring the right knee into your chest, nice work. Reach up and over the shin as you pull your thigh in tightly. Open mouth, exhale. And then take your right leg up to the sky. Give it a nice little hamstring stretch. Pull it towards you. We didn't stretch our hamstrings too much today. But again, through some of those poses, you definitely felt them. It was just a quick pass through. Give your right knee a big squeeze. Maybe even pick up your head. Get your chin to touch your kneecap. And then lay your right leg down. <laughs> left knee comes to chest, reach up and over, and then gently tug it in. Good, push your left leg high to the sky for me, reach, reach, reach. You can point and flex your toe if you want, just start to gently tug the leg in your direction. And then on your next exhale, hold on to your shin, and then do the best you can. Try to pick up your head, see if you can get your chin to touch your knee, tap, and then release. Hug both knees in, grab your kneecaps and draw circles with your low back on the ground. Three, feel the QL, the lumbar spine, 
the mid to low back and your top of your booty as you do this. And then reverse the other direction, draw a circle. Should feel really nice on the low back. Exhale, hug both knees deeply to your chest. And then pull your knees apart as you find the pinky toe edges of your feet. Good, and rock side to side in happy baby. Three, two, one. Let your legs go down to the earth. Exhale, let your right leg extend all the way out for me and then please let your left leg go. Put your right hand on your heart, your left hand on your belly and just let your elbows kind of fall to the sides. And I invite you to find a slow, comfortable breath for yourself here to where you feel good about slowing down and closing this practice. Maybe in to finish up the rest of possibly a tough day ahead, working through things. Maybe it's a smooth sailing rest of your day. For me, it's moving into like what I have planned next, which is my own personal workout. So it's getting my head in the right place for that. Take two more deep breaths. And then I invite you to take both of your arms over your head for a big stretch, reaching and lengthening from one end of the mat to the other. And then please gently pull your knees to your chest. So reach up and over, hold on tight, rock side to side massage. Good. And then exhale when you're ready, you're gonna rock all the way up to seated or roll to the side and come up. Bring your hands to your heart for me as you sit up nice and tall, relax your shoulders. And then open your mouth. Thank yourself for the movement, for your health, and remember there is an energy out there that's offering you the peace and emotional support that you need. Just know that it's right in front of you. Grab it, hug it tight, and use it whenever you need to. Let's bow forward together. Namaste and have a very beautiful rest of your day. Nice work.